we are now going to look at weak acids and weak bases. So a weak acid does not dissociate fully. So we cannot use the concentration of the acid directly to calculate pH. We're going to have to know the Ka of the acid or Kb of the base to be able to use the concentration to calculate out the pH. Now we're going to use the ice box calculation. So in this problem here, we want to calculate the pH of 0.25 molar phenol, which is a Ka of 1.6 times 10 minus 10. So it's an acid reaction, so it's going to react with water to form the hydronium ion and the conjugate base. We set up a ice box, put in the initial numbers. So we have not put any of the conjugate base into the solution, so it's zero. We have not put any other acid in the solution, so the initial hydrogen ion is zero also. Since we have no product, we know it's going to go four directions. So we subtract off the reactants and add on products. We add initial and change together to get the equilibrium expression. And then we can do a little check to see how serious of a calculation we have to do. So we do the acid concentration over Ka. And if it's greater than 500, then we can assume that the change variable was smaller than the initial concentration. In this case, it's much larger than 500. So we're going to assume that that 0.25 minus x is just going to be 0.25. We write our expression of our products over our reactants. We drop off this minus x, and that saves us from doing the quadratic equation. So now it's just going to be a simple square root to solve for our x. So we multiply the 0.25 across, put in our Ka, do the square root, and we get 6.3 times 10 minus 6 for x. And x is the hydrogen ion concentration. So we now have a hydrogen ion concentration. So we do the negative base 10 log of that, and we get a pH of 5.2. So going in a different direction, we have um, a 0 0.063 molar hypobromous acid solution. It has a pH of 4.95. We want to calculate the Ka. So we can set up a ice box here. And this is to get the expression for Ka. So we set up the Ka, uh, hydrogen ion, the um, conjugate base or the initial acid with the change variables in it. But to get the change variable, we're going to use our pH. So X is the hydrogen ion, which is also 10 to minus pH. So we calculate 10 to minus pH with 1.1 times 10 to minus 5. We put that in for the change variable, run that to our calculator. We end up with a Ka of 1.9 times 10 to minus 9. So let's look at another one, a base solution. So triethyl amine. All amine, amines are organic compounds that contain nitrogen, and amines are basic. So we have the KD for our solution and a concentration of 0.2. So this is similar to Ka. So we're going to write it out. The reaction is the base plus water. In this case, the nitrogen is going to get protonated by the water. So it's going to, it's going to gather a proton and leave hydroxide behind. That's why it's a base reaction. So we do our ice box putting in the 0.2 initial concentration. The product's going to be initially zero. We did not put any of those in. We have our change variable. We subtract off the reactants to add to the products. And we get our equilibrium expression written in terms of the change variable. So I'll do the same test, the base over Kb. In this case, it comes out to be exactly 
500. So I'm not going to assume that X is small enough to ignore compared to 0.2. So we're going to write our equilibrium expression in terms of the change variable. So we have our X times X, X squared over the 0.2 minus X. And we're going to start to rearrange it. So I multiply the 0.2 minus X across to the KB side. Now I'm going to move everything onto the x squared side. So I'm getting it in the form of ax squared plus bx minus plus c equals zero. So now I'm going to use the quadratic equation to solve this one. So x is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I put in the numbers and I solve it. And we always get two answers out of this. In this case, a positive answer and a negative answer. And x can't be negative. That means that would be going to a negative concentration over here. So the negative answer is not a valid answer. So the positive answer, x, is our hydroxide concentration. So we have our hydroxide concentration. We're going to turn that into a pOH by doing the negative basis and log. We get a pOH of 2.06. Subtract that from 14, we get a pH of 11.94. And if we wanted to get the hydrogen ion, that is 10 to the minus 11.94. So the hydrogen ion comes out to be 1.1 times 10 to the minus 12. So let's do a couple other problems, some miscellaneous problems. Uh, this will complete the problems on the worksheet of this chapter. And I could have put one or two of these into a, a other uh, videos also. So benzoic acid has a Ka of 6.5 times 10 minus 5. And we want to know what the Kb of its conjugate base is. What well, the relationship between Ka and Kb is the product of them is equal to Kw. So we can solve for Kb is Kw over Ka. We put in our numbers and we end up with 1.5 times 10 minus 10. And then pH of a point one five molar potassium hydroxide. This is a weak base over here. We need the ice box. This is a strong base. We don't need the ice box. So this is going to fully dissociate in solution. And we have one hydroxide for each potassium hydroxide. So we're going to have 0.15 molar of the hydroxide. So we just calculate the pOH, negative base 10 log of it. We get a pOH of 0.82. Subtract that from 14. And we have a pH of 13.18. So pretty high pH for this basic solution. And very last one. So caffeine is a weak base. And we can make a, a salt with a caffeine. So this is a, a weak base. We made a little bit of the protonated version in water. But if we added a little acid to this, then we'd have the protonated version and a counter ion. And that's what we have here. We have a protonated uh, base and a counter ion. So caffeine is a weak base. That means the salt here is going to be a weak acid. Well, that covers this chapter. But we're going to go on into expanding these concepts uh, in the next chapter, um, looking at buffers and salts of acids and bases.